Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve, solve some of the important questions related to shielded metal arc welding. Shielded metal arc welding is also known as manual metal arc welding. So our first question is MMAW or manual metal arc welding of low alloy steels. Low alloy steels is more likely to be performed with. So it is asking about the most preferred electrodes for low alloy steel. So low alloy steels are like uh, steels which are having less percentage of alloying element. Mostly uh, like you have SF516 grade 60. This is a very popular steel grade which is used in pressure vessel and power plants or boilers. So low alloy steels are having low percentage of alloying element. It is uh, not exact but relatively or comparatively less than 5% alloying elements are there. So for low alloy steel we use most preferred electrode is basic hydrogen controlled electrodes. Basic hydrogen controlled electrodes are also known as low hydrogen electrodes. These are used because low hydrogen electrodes uh, with the help of low hydrogen, electro low hydrogen electrodes you can prevent hydrogen induced cracking. So a very popular electrode that is E7018 this is a low hydrogen electrode or basic hydrogen controlled electrode it is used for welding low alloy steel so basically friends if you want to know about hydrogen induced cracking cracking i have explained the entire mechanism how this crack occurs and how to prevent hydrogen induced cracking in my c sweep chapter 17 video so for uh, up now the answer is d basic hydrogen controlled electrodes now here i have explained about low alloy steel so if you want to know more about low alloy steel you can read this now friends before moving forward let let me tell you that if you want to support my initiative financially you can do that by joining my channel see after subscribing my channel you will see a join icon and after pressing the join icon and by paying a very very small amount you can become a member of my channel and you can support my initiative financially now question number two is MMA welds made with damaged electrode coatings are subject to. So if you are welding with a damaged electrode coating then what will happen? Four options are there porosity, undercut, excessive penetration and excessive bead width. So friends answer is porosity. See porosity can occur uh, if your electrode is damaged or dirty then gases will flow it will release more gases and that can result in porosity so damaged electrode coating can lead to contamination yes it it will lead to contamination also and gases will be released which will result in porosity see porosity is a small cavity or void friends if you want to uh, know more about welding defects i have made many videos on welding defects so you can watch those videos also now question number three in MMA welding what parameter is used to control the penetration of the base metal penetration into the base metal. Now it is asking how to control the penetration in MMA welding means what perimeter you have to vary to control the penetration in the base metal. So the answer is current friends by adjusting the current you can control the penetration in the base metal if you will increase the current penetration and will increase you will get a deeper penetration and if you will decrease the current then shallow penetration will occur now question number four movement of the arc in mma welding by magnetic forces is called so what happens sometimes magnetic forces they pull or they push the arc and this is known as arc blow so answer will be c arc blow this happens because of the magnetic forces so during you know welding magnetic forces are generated and those forces they push the arc or they pull the arc means they deviate the arc and that is known as arc blow now question number five which of the following defects is more common to welds deposited by co2 welding so co2 welding this name is not a very standard term uh, basically see in GMAW that is gas metal arc welding when you use CO2 welding it is known as mag welding so this is a different version of MIG welding in MIG welding you use inert gases and in mag welding you use active gases such as CO2 so for mag welding uh, it is asking uh, following the more common weld defects by CO2 then 
okay so it is asking suppose if you are doing welding by gmaw so which defect will be more likely to occur as compared to smaw so in gmaw there is chances of lack of sidewall fusion due to the heat input less heat input chances of sidewall fusion will be there with the in gmaw so answer will be c now question number six consumable electrode flux shielded manual process is a description of which welding process so we'll see these three description first description is consumable electrode so friends in fcaw that is flux cord arc welding uh, the electrode is consumable so in fcaw the electrode will be consumable in submerged arc welding also electrode will be consumable and in smaw also electrode will be consumable but in tig welding the electrode is a non consumable and it is a tungsten weld uh, rod so the first description applies to fcaw saw and smaw now we'll see the second description it is flux shielded so in fcaw electrode or filler wire the flux remains in the core it is not shielded but flux is, remains in the core however in smaw the flux is shielded so the second description applies to smaw and the third is manual process so smaw is a manual welding process so our answer will be d smaw or mmaw now question number seven why high ocb is required for mma welding so ocb is open circuit voltage and to start the arc or to initiate the arc a high voltage is required that is known as high open circuit volt so option will be to initiate the arc to initiate the arc a high ocb is required and basically the range of this ocb is 50 to 90 volts so to initiate the arc or to strike the arc or to start the arc this ocb high ocb is required now question number eight which of the following butt weld preparations is generally most susceptible to lack of side wall fusion during mma welding so they are asking about these preparations and which will be more prone to lack of sidewall fusion so friends the option a that is a u preparation see a u shaped preparation is more prone or more susceptible to lack of side of wall fusion due to this profile due to the shape or due to the profile there will be chances of lack of sidewall fusion now question number nine which welding process is considered the most versatile so no conflict the mma welding or saw welding is one of the oldest uh, type of welding not uh, very oldest but uh, okay so it is one of the earlier welding processes and this is one of the most versatile welding process because you need only electric current and this machine is very portable anywhere you can uh, transport this machine whereas these other welding processes like in submerged arc welding you need fixture many fixture then you need flux hopper setup in TIG welding you need uh, you know a tungsten electrode then you need gas then you need filler metal in MIG welding also you need gas but in MMA welding only a machine is required and you can do the welding so the answer will be MMA which arc welding process utilizes a non consumable electrode so basically TIG in TIG welding among these four options the answer will be TIG in TIG welding you use a non consumable electrode that is tungsten electrode and apart from TIG in plasma arc welding in plasma arc welding PAW also you use a non consumable electrode that is tungsten that is made of tungsten P A W plasma arc welding also a non consumable electrode is used now answer is B T question number 11 MMA electrode can be grouped into three main types so based on the grouping or based on the shielding or flux the electrodes can be divided like basic cell logic and rutile the answer will be basic cell logic and rutile the in option B this neutral there is nothing like no term like neutral so this is wrong answer uh, here also you have term neutral so there is nothing like neutral you have basic cell logic and rutile this this is the correct answer in basic you have 701 and the 701 electrode that is hydrogen controlled electrode it is also known as basic type of shielded electrode then uh, e6010 is cell logic shielded ele uh, cell, cell logic electrode and e6013 is a rutile electrode now question number 12 in positional MMA welding on pipe work welders are having difficulty in obtaining good capping profiles when welding in the overhead position overhead position would you 
ऑप्शन इज एडवाइज देम टू इंक्रीज द करेंट एडवाइज देम टू डिक्रीज इंक्रीज द वोल्टेज आस्क फॉर न्यू वेल्डिंग टीम सजेस्ट द यूज ऑफ ए स्मॉलर डायमीटर इलेक्ट्रोड सो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज राइट द आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स आई एल गिव यू टू सेकेंड टाइम प्लीज राइट द आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स नाउ द एक्सप्लेनेशन इज हियर सी वॉट एपन्स इन ओवर हेड वेल्डिंग टू मेंटेन अ गुड कैपिंग प्रोफाइल you will suggest the welder to use smaller diameter electrode a smaller diameter electrode will be uh, it allows for more precise placement of the filler material now there is a conflict some may say that will advise them to increase the voltage so increasing the voltage also will maintain the capping profile but uh, if you see the most appropriate see in mcqs or multiple choice questions you need to select the most appropriate see if the two answers are uh, for example matching so you will see the which one is the most appropriate answer so from my point of view the most appropriate answer is the suggest of the use of a smaller diameter electrode however some may answer this also uh, by increasing the voltage the capping profile may be uh you know maintained but it will not be maintained i uh, means if you keep on increasing the voltage that will not be maintained so uh, uh, most appropriate answer will be the suggest the use of a smaller dia electrode so friends that was your last question now before concluding this video let me give you a brief introduction of myself my name is sandeep anand i am a mechanical engineer and i am having 14 plus years of experience my hobby is to share my knowledge and i share my knowledge through my website that is weldingandentity.com and the second mode through which i share my knowledge is my youtube channel youtube.com slash welding and ndt so these two by these two methods i used to share my knowledge friends i hope you like this video thank you very much